what are the promotion? What happens if you show up with an unwrapped toy or, or three canned unper non-perishable food items for the Oregon, uh, Oregon Food Bank? So as you said, if you bring an unwrapped toy or you bring three non-perishable food items, then uh, we have a, a, a specially decorated Kleenex box that you can pull a prize out of. Where, where is that? <laughs> where's the Kleenex box? Can we find the Kleenex box? We really need the Kleenex box. Christine's going to come up. Join us with the Kleenex box because I was looking at the Kleenex box a little bit ago and I saw that there were some fun prizes in here that you can win. Now this is, if you come to Green Dragon, yeah. we're here till 6 o'clock. If you bring an unwrapped toy, non-perishable food items, and three cans, three cans, not none of it, and we don't need ramen. That's cheating. No ramen. Well, yeah, no ramen. You no, want cans. No ramen. We want cans. And actually, there's a poster on the wall. If I could, if I could read it, it says peanut butter, tuna. It's looking for pasta sauce, canned meats, canned fruits and vegetables, and and pastas. These are the things that really help out the Oregon Food Bank. You can bring them down here to the Green Dragon. It's on uh, Sixth and Belmont. Ninth. Ninth and Belmont. If you go to Sixth, you're three blocks away. You want to go to Ninth and Belmont? Let me see if I can do this. Ninth and Belmont. I think that's a hashtag there. Look, I'm going to read. I'm going to read some of the. Uh, you find Christine. I'm going to read one of the prizes here. Oh, this is my personal favorite. This one says, "Cheers, have a drink on us." So this is an example of the kinds of things you can do. I'll put that right back in the pocket. It's a kind of example of things that you can get uh, right here. And I've got some cards, some people to meet. And if my producer here will tell me whether or not we have time for them or not, uh, could you grab this one for me? We're going to we're going to actually uh, interview some folks here, and again, if my producer says to cut me off, let me know. We'll wrap this up, but uh, we're having a good time. I'm actually sent Christine to grab our next guest, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to ask if uh, you're watching us on Twitter. Of course, the hashtag is pound three zero HD. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at BMW. Uh, there, there's no M in my lower third, but I'll I'll yell at the studio for that. But. Uh, Mitch, how are you? Come on and join us. Mitch is the uh, Mitch is the recently outed. Uh, he recently revealed his identity. He is the the organizer. He's a blogger. He does Oregon Media Central. Tell us a little bit about what Oregon Media Central is. Okay. Well, Oregon Media Central is a website. Okay, it's a website about the media in Oregon and Southwest Washington. And uh, I've been running it for about six months. And I've been running it anonymously. And I did just come out last weekend. So now everybody knows my name. Uh, every reporter in the state knows my name, which is a little concerning. Um, glad I don't have too many skeletons in my closet. So, and, and you come to Beer and Blog. Uh, have you been to Beer and Blog before? What have you learned so far today? I know you've been networking with a bunch of folks there earlier this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I have never been here before because I've been anonymous. But uh, yeah, I've just been talking with people. Uh, great networking going on here. I found some guy who like. He has figured out a way to actually make money online, which is something I need to learn to do. Um, and he's going to help me out with that. That's great. If you want to make money online, I know this sounds like a spam email that you get. But yeah, come down here and talk to this guy. And, and the funny thing is, you know, that's absolutely what Beer and Blog is all about. A lot of people networking with other people, sharing stories, sharing ideas. And, and thank you for joining us, Mitch. Thanks for coming on 30 Hour Day. Of course, you can check out the website at OregonMediaCentral.com. Oh, and uh, now we're going to go to, and apparently Media Chick is in the room. Media Chick! I'll just yell out at people. Maybe somebody will grab Media Chick for me so that I need Media Chick. We are, uh, I, I, understand, I understand that she has a, an exciting treat to tell us about. Maybe an item up for auction. I'm not quite sure. I don't want to spoil the surprise. So as soon as we get her over here and she's got a beer, we will, uh, we will actually give her the microphone. And why don't you tell everyone watching at 30hourday.org the entire conversation. You have a little treat for us. Is that right? A uh, little treat? You mean the uh, little something something little that I something brought something? with me? something something? Yes. Do you have it to show us? Yes, I do. Let me look at Let's it. go grab that. She's going to go grab that. And while she's grabbing that, I want to remind everyone there is an auction going on a little bit later on. The auction will be for charity. And one of the prizes that we are auctioning off, I'm pretty excited about myself, it is a trip for two aboard Seaport Air, and I, I have to thank Seaport Air for flying me up here, shameless plug for them, but the reason they flew me up here, guys, because if you're going to be on the air for 30 hours, that means I'm going to be up for probably a total of 36, 40 or so, so I'm going to fly Seaport Air back up to Seattle, and then we're having a viewing party in Seattle, so thank you to Seaport Air, Hotel Max, a, a geek getaway in Seattle, that'll be up for auction starting tomorrow, but another item up for auction is the apron that I wore in a calendar. 
This is the apron that I handmade for the 2010 Get Naked for a Cause. Um, that the calendars will be available tonight, and along with the apron, you will see some made here. Will be a calendar signed by several of the models. Do we have one of the calendars here? And and maybe some of the models are here as well, right? Um, Case is here. Case is here. Amber's here. We talked to Amber a little bit ago. She actually remembered the organizations, and you were in the calendar. We're auctioning off the actual apron. Now, this is the kind of thing that you just, you you can't buy this. No. This no, is not available on Etsy.com. This is not something you can just go buy. So this is a unique part of Portland tech uh, paraphernalia. I was going to say, like, tech history. Uh, tech history. Uh, uh, um, the thing with the, the stuff. It's nostalgia. It's a nostalgic piece of. It's, it's an heirloom, and and we'll come up with a bunch of other words to describe the aprons. But what do you think? What do you think the uh, the apron will go for? Well, if my fans want me to sleep well tonight, it will be for hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> but maybe I'm shooting too high. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for an apron. So later on during. I think if your company buys it for hundreds of thousands of dollars, you get on the front page of Dig or something, and you get that natural, organic, like tech community love. You know, so it's, it's the best PR marketing. You can this have. is this is kind of brilliant. I'm kind of liking where this is going. What 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 Amber here is saying is that it's worth its weight in gold with all the promotion. I mean, think about it. Hundred thousand dollar donation for thirty hour day would put the story on the front page. And your company would be the one that bought that apron. Right. Look at she's modeling it right there. You, you are. T this apron is tied to all of us invisibly, fourth dimensionally, and so you're, you're leveraging that that connectivity. That sounds a lot of sounds like a lot of cyborg anthropology right there, but absolutely fantastic. So you ladies are having a great time. What are your plans for the holidays? I'm gonna stay home and I'm not gonna answer my cell phone or log on to my internet. For no, no Twitters for you over the holiday? Well, there'll be less. There's going to be assumptions to be like, there's a pie that just came out of the oven. And we're going to be like drooling, like, how can we get an API to the pie so we can eat it? <laughs> okay, this is, uh, this is the, the, the phrase of the minute. 30-hour day has a, how do, we get to the, how do we get to the pie that just came out of the API, I think is what I heard. So we're, uh, we're going to send it back over to Cammy in the studio. and Oh, the battery's out. Did they take it over? And we're back. Thank you so much, Brian. It was really, really nice That's to see great. everybody. API, another good A word there. Yeah, nice. Mm. All right, I think we should mention a couple of things. One, this hour, mm. the first hour, four to five, was brought to you by the Green Dragon. Yes, thank you. I thought you. it was worth mentioning since this hour is almost Thank over. you, Portland Green Dragon. Two, I'm not sure how much they got into it. We talked uh, Amber and Michelle mm -hmm. both in that calendar that will be auctioned off with Michelle's apron tomorrow yes. when the auction starts. Yeah, so the auction will start tomorrow morning. And I'm trying uh, to look around the room and count. There are at least three more people in the on the premises here that are also in that calendar. Oh, yeah. One of them Not had his me. clothing on. Not me. I'm just saying. I'm sure that they will all be happy. I'd to still recommend that. you you get it. It's awesome. You I mean, recommend that they get it even though you're not in it? I'd, I'd especially recommend you it's get it because I'm not in it. I don't do so well in the unclothed situations, I'm just saying. I had some clothes on. I did. Yes, I know. I had some clothes on when I, I had the... Did, yeah. This is probably very comfortable for Aaron Hockley because I'm wearing a lot more clothing yeah. now than I wasn't. Poor Aaron Hockley. Another one of our sponsors actually is wandering around mm -hmm. right over here. Mm -hmm. He might not stick his head in the shot, but uh, Hockley... He hasn't photography. really gotten over November beard yet, so I'm not sure if he's... <laughs> he's a little yeah, rough. And I'm clean shaven for once, so I can well, make you, fun of it. You were earlier. Rude. We should it's do. We should do the credit card test. You're starting to get some midway five through the show. shadow. It's not. It's five o'clock though. It's okay. It's to five o'clock. It's time for that shadow to come out. It's That's okay cool. to have five o'clock shadow at five o'clock. Okay. Okay. It's fully. Is accepted. it five? Almost. It's like really close to five. If it's five, oh, it's a minute away. So, that would mean. We've actually uh, completed our first hour. Wait. Just, just tell me when it's actually been an hour. It's, oh, it's five right now. <laughs> Woo -hoo! We only All have right. 29 hours left. 29 to go. Thank you, everybody. And uh, thanks for all your, well, I can check. I want to see I want to see how we're doing on um, donations. Okay, I just wanted to mention stuff. that it's the last night of Hanukkah as well. So oh, yeah. Happy so Hanukkah to happy everyone. Happy Hanukkah to everyone. Yeah, would you um, like to 
Would you like to bring it out? Okay, let's do it. So, why don't you guys just go ahead and come on in here? If there's a good place for us to to put it, that it. Holy cow! Will it stand up straight? Will it stay up upright? Yeah, I'm just worried. Can we put something under? Can we get a table or something that we can put this on on camera? Thing. No, no. I'm such a bad shoe. <laughs> it's in your hand, sweetie. Yeah, it's in your hand. Yeah, whoo! I'm good. Cool, that and was close. And luckily, we've got, we've got a rabbi here with us. Who can help us out <laughs> if anything goes wacky? That's very useful. I should mention that not only did I provide the menorah and the candles, but, but also the Christmas, the Christmas stuff. I'm like, she's you know? multi theological she's, she's like holiday. stuff. I will not be bringing any Kwanzaa stuff. No? Okay. Oh. All right, fine. So we've got we've got cool. Betsy and Rabbi David here. Thank you. And a plate. And a plate. And a, plate. And a menorah. And a menorah. I'm going to let you do the honors. Wow. Wow. Nice. I'm more Jewish than I am. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? So the first blessing. There are two blessings. Mm-hmm. And the first blessing is... Of God, um, who enjoins us to light the Hanukkah candles, and then the second blessing is a thankfulness for divinity, who um, did great deeds um, in times gone by as the season, um, by which we tend to mean that the. Um, Oil in the can in the temple in ancient days lasted eight days when it was only enough to pour wine. Um, and that's a big miracle, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As miracles go. blessing was a thanks for commanding us to light candles, because pyromania is fun. (laughs) My kids really love this part. Yeah. And then the second blessing was about giving us cause to light candles, which is to say, because there was light um, for eight days worth, when it only looked like there was enough light for one day worth back um, in the time of the temple. Cool. Li- nice. Yay. Yay. Hey. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So, lit menorah, which I will try not to burn myself with during the... Please. Please try very hard. Yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, well, um, it looks fancy with our clock. It does. It's right up against the Flavor Flav clock from uh, maybe Melbourne. I don't know. Maybe Cardiff. Cardiff. Oh, we'll be talking to somebody from Cardiff I later. Think so. Maybe. If we get that whole thing worked out. We might. Just saying. But we wanted to let you know. Um, I grabbed my laptop while we were goofing around there with BMW and. Um, we are already up to $575 donated to the cause so far, which is awesome. Thank you, everybody. And um, I just went ahead and flipped over the donations to... <gasps> Who are we donating to now? Toys for Tots. Yay, it's so, Toys for Tot time. So a bunch of that money went to the Oregon Food Bank. So if you're interested in donating to Toys for Tots, now, now the is time. the time. So go on out there. And I, there's no telling how long that'll stay. He's I could crazy. take that away any He's minute. got an itchy button finger. I have the finger. power right here on this here laptop to do what that stuff. What happens if I just push that? Don't, yeah. <laughs> ah. 
Now I'm just going to go back to Twitter. Oh, no, wait, Twitter. Sorry. So, oh, I hit him. Okay, we're getting ready to go back. We've got a producer, Mike, says we got another uh, remote with Green Dragon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to we're going to talk to BMW and I some folks over there. Yeah. I did hit you. You did hit me. So for those of you playing at home, along, that's one. I hit. hit. I hit him. All right. You keep back, track of those. We'll help you too. Back to you, Brian. Oh. Brian? Well, we were going to go back to Brian. <laughs> oh, there he is. No, he's not there. Where'd he go? We're just going to go to the... Oh, look, it's Ms. D. Oh, there he is. There's Brian. He's drinking beer. Is he? Oh, hey, guys. No, we're he's back. on the phone. Hey. He's on the from the Green Dragon. We're broadcasting live here as we raise money for Toys for Tots, the Oregon Food Bank, and Free Geek. And I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys if we could get... Justin, could we grab some of those toys here? Uh, Fado has brought, literally our toy bin is full. The toy box has overflowed now with all sorts of toys. And I've asked Justin Kistner if we could pull this out here and actually get the toys here on camera. Apologize, we're running a little, uh, little off here. But we're at the Green Dragon, which is at 9th and Belmont. And just look at all of the toys we've generated. It, it gives me kind of tingles when you see this giant barrel of toys. Now, when I got here, this barrel of toys for Toys for Tots, for the Marines and, and the organizations that help all those kids that, that need toys that otherwise wouldn't have Christmas was empty. And now it is full. It is overflowing and the toys are not even fitting in here. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Let me see if there's, this one looks like a water, oh here we go. The Whammo Batman Water Splasher. Look at that. So there's some great toys here. You can still bring toys. And if you do bring toys here to the Green Dragon at 9th and Belmont during 30 hour day, we'll be here till six o'clock. If you bring toys, we'll give you a ticket. That ticket could, could be good for a free drink. It could be good for prizes. It could be for money off, all sorts of great things. So come on down to the Green Dragon. There's still plenty of time. You can hang out. Of course, this is a weekly event. You can learn more about beer and blog at beerandblog.com. And of course, uh, if you're having as much fun as we are, you're certainly having a great time. And for wherever you are out there in Twitter land and on the interwebs watching 30 Hour Day, thank you for joining us and thank you for clicking that donate button. As, as Rick earlier, he was, Tarosi was clicking. I think it's right about there, maybe there. You can click the button. Alas, anyway, you'll find it on the button. It's that big blue button on 30hourday.org. Give us your donation and look at all these fun toys. Guys, I'm gonna give it back to you because I'm gonna I'm gonna play with this toy bin. I'm gonna look through some of these toys. What do we got here? We got we got some water toys. Oh, this one looks like fun. Look at that. Bullseye there. You get ten points, five points, one point. Uh, we'll we'll check back with you guys later as uh, as I'm gonna dig through the toys. I promise I won't take any of them. Thirty hour day from the Green Dragon. Tara is asking how she's. Hi, hey. Hi. We're so working on logistics. We're working on logistics. Uh, another. Uh, guest we're trying to set up is Tara, Tara Hunt, Hunt. Uh, author of The Woofy Factor and Horse Pig Cow and all that great stuff. You need to tell me what a woofy was. I didn't, I I didn't think get it. There's quite a bit of woofy going on right woofy. here. No, not woofy. Woofy's later. Woofy. Woofy's, woofy's. I like woofy's. I like woofy's too. Fried hey, pie, it's hey, tasty. Do you, do you know who's uh, bringing us this hour? I do. Can you tell us? Yes, I would like to tell you. The people sponsoring this hour are actually the people who are kind enough to bring BMW down to Portland for us, and that's Seaport Airlines, which is and and the Max Hotel, Max Hotel. Hotel Max Seattle. in Seattle. Yeah. And um, they have also put together a package for our auction, which you will see tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow. Which is two tickets on Seaport Air up to Seattle. And, and a hotel night. And a hotel. Yeah. yeah. And hotel a geek tour with BMW. Yes, and BMW will show you all the geek sites mm -hmm. of Seattle. But you know what the best part about Seaport Air is, don't you? It's on Twitter? It is on Twitter. That is perhaps not the best part, but that is a very <laughs> good part of Seaport Air. The best part of Seaport Air, no TSA. You don't have to go through security. You show up at the little thing there, Boeing Field, get on, shoot, down here. Get, it, get through without any security. So it's great. It's awesome. That means you can pack really random stuff to I go to Seattle. I don't believe you. Well, there's security for the, but you don't have to go through the airport. But you have to go through security still. You're trying to tell people how to see. I'm just saying, that's what's cool about it, because you don't have to waste all that extra time with security. Seaport air. It's awesome. Rocks. 
Yes, it does, and they're sponsoring. So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank so you for much the donation, sincerely. and thank and you, thank you for, for bringing uh, Brian M. Westbrook down right. to us. They were Seaport Air was kind of like Santa Claus delivering a little Brian Westbrook gift mm -hmm. or something. Very I nice don't know. of them. Thirty-hour days. I love I'll how we're get, getting. I'll only get funnier as time goes on. Trust Will me. you? Let's hope. Will you let me know when that happens? <laughs> for everyone's sake, let's hope. That so we've got some more stuff coming up in the hour. We've got a band that's going to come play for us. One oh. moment. Yes, that would be nice. And uh, little music. And 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 then we will have soon, in an hour, the Court and Fat Boy show. Although he's not fat. He's not fat, and I'm sorry, I'm still dealing with logistics here, and I'm maybe getting Tara to do. But um, you're tweeting. I'm and before, tweeting. but before that happens, we're going to bring Tara Hunt in, because you saw how well our last remote went. <laughs> I was just saying, it was smooth and flawless. We did a great job. They are doing a great job. I would like to point out that our crew is doing an amazing job. They're they working are. in an unfamiliar space and we're doing something that none of us has ever done before. We've done a lot, yeah. I mean boom, these boom, guys boom. and I'm have, wearing a color and that probably might be throwing, throwing everybody off. off. I know it's I know. But look it's at your eyes. Off. Your eyes look great. Ta da <laughs> um, Cammy's gone? Oh I know. Hi, I'm kinda shiny. Oh. And my eyes are blue. Oh, okay. good. It's not just me anymore. I'll be yeah, okay. Right. So, it's like um, a giant backwards crazy mirror. <laughs> and I'm shiny. It is. You're more. You're shinier than I am. I know. That could be another game. See how many times Camier is shinier than Rick. Camier is shinier. I know they Rick must is. love the sound on the, the, the microphone. So, uh, yeah. I've decided to just be very upfront about like the blotting and That's the, cool, and dude. The it's live powder. Screen. So, yeah. So, right now... <laughs> We're trying to get uh, we're going to try and get Tara Hunt on. Mm -hmm. She is in Montreal, throwing a housewarming party, and we'll hopefully get her and some other folks to chat on that. Um, and we will also <laughs> be running some uh, probably some of our pre-recorded stuff yeah. here soon. We've got some fantastic pre-records. Yeah. Do you want to tell them who we went to see this morning? We Yes, I would be happy to do that. We actually got the opportunity to sit down with Portland Mayor Sam Adams, who mm -hmm. I see flying by on Twitter here. And, um, Hi. And we, uh, he was kind enough to spend like 20 minutes, half hour, chatting with us about some time. his favorite think, charities. I don't think and it's all going on, on camera, though. It's just yeah, we, we have to chop some of it. You just poke that in my eye. Good. Your <laughs> eye was shiny. <laughs> That w I will not be shiny ever again. <laughs> the, um, the, but, it, it, you know, and actually, I don't know which part of that we're going to do, but I think... Are we going to do the part where he interviewed us or the part where we interviewed him? I would suggest you watch the part where he interviewed us. It was way better. We got an award. Kind of like the key to the city. Only better. Maybe. I don't know. Ish. Watch and find out. Better-ish. That's all I can tell. Hey, did you notice that even though maybe we had some downtime, we started on time? This may be the first time we've started anything. Do you want to know why? Can I point the reason out to you? Yes. Hold on, let me let me see. Let me see. Is he over there? He's right behind Mikey. Oh, I see him. Can we get the Hi big, can we get the top shot there? Can we please? Of the production tables? Yeah, there he is. That Joe. guy. Oh. Woo! Joe! All right. Woo! Joe! Thank you, thank you. I just felt compelled to point that out. Can't understand you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, that's oh. so fun. We're going to cool. show the, the episode that okay. we aired yesterday of Mean PDX, which right. was kind of a, our tutorial on how to enjoy 30-hour day. Yeah, so that'll be a great kind of help you out. You know, you've kind of got the feel now, mm -hmm. but it'll give you a lot of detail on what's coming up next. And, awesome. And all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be great. Yeah. All Perfect. right, let's go. We love watching Mean PDX, so we'll just sit I here do. and watch. It makes watch. me giggle. It makes me giggle I'm a doing lot. that chin thing again. Don't do the chin thing. I told you not to. Sorry. I can't help. I'm serious. I, I, You're less pretty when you do that. I happen to like my second chin. <laughs> I'm just telling you. You're less pretty when you do that. Okay. Oh, and Tara just tweeted. So hopefully oh we can... Yay, Tara. So we will um, go to Mean PDX. Yeah, yeah. We'll deal with some technical issues. Yeah, get Tara Hunt on here. That's and, good. And chat about it. Fantastic. Stuff. So any second. I'm just waiting because I was under the impression <laughs> that we were totally going. Yeah. To it seemed PDX. urgent. I was we're, like, Yay. Are we still ready? All right. Yeah, yes. Let's go. Go to Meet PDX. PDX. See you in a minute. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Meme PDX, where we cover the hottest tech stories in Portland and beyond. 
I'm Rick Tarosi. I'm here with my co-host, Cam of Chaos. Hey, Rick. Hi. Do you think that we should start off by explaining the production values have changed a little bit? That would probably be wise, as this is not a tribute to AHA. Okay, well, Dr. Normal said he was too busy and that we couldn't record Mean PDX this week. But we thought that you guys deserved an episode of... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mean PDX, where we cover the hottest tech stories in Portland and beyond. I'm Rick Tarosi. I'm here with my co-host, Kim Chaos. Hi, Rick. Hey, how Hi. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty well. Feeling pretty rested. Yeah? Ready to go. Yeah. Have you been napping? I have, quite a bit. Mm, I have not. What kind of what, what kind of shirt do you got on there, It's a, Cammy? It's a local area startup shirt. I really like to wear the startup shirts. Us. I like startups. I know you do. You write about them quite a bit. I do. I'm rather obsessed. Yeah. So what's this What's this startup shirt you got on there? It's a project. I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not. I'm, I think Rick might be familiar mm. with it. I don't, I don't know what no? you're talking about. It's 30 Hour Day. Oh. If you want to get more information about 30 Hour Day, you can go to 30hourday.org. It's such a big thing, actually, that it's really the only story we're going to cover this week. Yeah, it's kind of it's huge. taken over. Our lives. So <laughs> the that's either huge or neither of us have any time to look at the internet yeah. to find something else. Yeah. So it, Thirty Hour Day is a podcast telethon designed to raise money for local charities here in town. We're going to be raising money mm-hmm. for Free Geek, and and I'm getting weird signals from the producer for Free Geek <laughs> and Oregon Food Bank and Toys uh, for Tots. Toys for Tots. Um, so the but we're encouraging people to use this entertainment. 30 hours of awesome entertainment awesome. for their own charities. So Should if, we explain how that works? Because I think that's the one glitch, the one thing that okay. people have yeah, said yeah. more than more than anything else. I don't understand this whole how we get I to use it. Idea. If you're in Portland, we would like to encourage you to use it for the charities that we're supporting locally because we're local. But if you're somewhere else, like in the U.K., mm-hmm or Canada or Brazil, where we have people participating. Right. You can embed Australia. the stream in Australia. You can embed the stream in your site and just put a donate button that links to a charity of your choice. Right. You don't have to support our charities. And and it, we just want you to use the content mm-hmm. to help fundraising for charitable organizations. And and if you decide to do that, let us know. Mm-hmm. Drop us a line. Because we'll... Comment we'll, on the blog and we we'll will... We'll give you a shout out. We'll yeah. say hi on the stream. Yeah, during the podcast when it's opportune for you in your time zone and that kind of thing. So uh, basically we're just trying to cram a bunch of really cool content into into 30 hours. And what, what we're going to kick off with um, is basically a, kind of the Portland podcasting all-star. Well, we start with evening. beer and blog. We're, it's, yeah. a, it's it's an all-Portland kickoff with beer and blog, and then we yep. move on to our Portland podcast buddies. Yeah, and lots of good stuff there. Yeah. Like some really, even if you're not from Portland, like some really Entertaining good, folk. Biting, humorous shows. There'll be those strange love live people if you like them. I don't know. They're all right. He doesn't. <laughs> it's an okay show. <laughs> Do some of that. And so podcasting through Friday evening in the U.S. Pacific time. Um, And then as our folks, our friends in the U.K. and elsewhere start to wake up, we'll have some, hopefully some cool uh, DJ stuff, some other late night stuff going on. Correct. And then rolling through the night into the morning for... uh, Some improv. Some improv. Some improv comedy. Maybe a game show. Maybe a game show. Some improv. There's no telling what could happen. Some funny stuff. We might... Have a you know a very funny UK stand-up comedian join us. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. I like the stand-up comedian. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, it's fun. fun. There's breakfast. Ooh, breakfast will be good. Lots of protein. <laughs> long about you, seven o'clock. We can't yeah. feed you, but yeah. you can watch what we're going to eat as a uh, as Pete Grillo, of Iterasi and uh, and comedian a uh, bacon. Yep. Feed us. Not, I mean, they can't. They won't be feeding. There's us. not going like, to be any it's food not like feeding, wedding but, cake, but you know what? You know good, because most people were rude with the wedding cake, and they did the smashing yeah, and the. We're no smashing. I think we should move along. Face. We're we're <laughs> we're so, getting off the general topic, then, which is that we're going to entertain you for 30 hours. Yes. 
we'll have banter, but it won't be just the two of us bantering. It will be some yeah. real honest to goodness, entertaining. He's touching me. Sorry, I was casting a shadow on the green screen. I bumped. And it'll be knee. some real fun, uh, excellent content, and you should tune in for thirty hours. But Saturday is going to be awesome. Like tune Saturday in for hours. Friday. Gonna, mm -hmm. Like hang out with yeah. us and call in. We'll have a Skype number. You can call in. This might be a good time to tell them that on Saturday morning, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, yes. we're going to be having a call-in tech chat show. Oh, that's a good one, too. So and, and you'll be able to Skype in to 30 Hour Day, T-H-I-R-T-Y, Hour Day, on Skype, and ask questions. Yeah. And uh, and and chat with the the folks there in the in the room. Yeah, or any time during the show, but especially Correct. that one. Especially call that one. Call your, in for your questions. Your tech questions, and um, then the I, like I'm really excited for the variety show. I am too. Part of Saturday, like uh, um, we've we've been really lucky to have a lot of acts volunteer to participate. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a wide variety of bands playing. I know there's That's re the there's variety reggae, show. jazz. Um, Brazilian jazz. Brazilian jazz. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's some comedians and some sketch comedy breaking mm -hmm. that up. So and some uh, some dramatic readings with bongos or something. Yes, of Twitter. There's some crazy stuff something. happening. So it will be entertaining for the bulk of mm -hmm. bulk of Saturday. Should be great. And then of course, I highly encourage you to tune in at around seven eight p.m. Um, well, first we're gonna have oh, food geeks. Food geeks will be on too. And Which then, will be interesting for us. Correct. Because we'll get fed yet again. I like it when people feed us. Yeah, that's good. Um, but the the 8 to 10, which will be our last two hours. Will so be... let's be honest. 8 o'clock, 28 hours in, yeah. Rick and I are going to be tired. It's going to be good. He's going to be crying. Yeah. I'm going to be hitting him. It'll be awesome. And uh, Seth Strickland's going to come down, I think, kind of just to mediate the situation. Yeah, yeah. And to keep us in line and yeah. to give you tissues. And to ask me to stop hurting people. Yeah. So it should, I mean, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. You know, I don't encourage you to sit there for all 30 hours, but by all means, tune in a couple times. We'd you know what they could do? Hmm. I'm putting a post up. I, I already did. With the schedule? I put up a post on Wednesday with the schedule. Yep. They could just go and find out what their favorite content's going to be, and they could, they could tune in for that. Yeah. And by all means, you know, please let folks know that you're attending and what you're doing. And if you're donating anything, please like put that on, on the on the Twitter or the Facebook or the whatever. Tell them about the auction. Oh, there's an auction as well. So we'll have all kinds of awesome random stuff. We have like, some excellent some really auction good, items. Really good auction items. And not just if you're from Portland. So there'll be some auction items. Where there are some very Portland-specific yeah. auction items, but there are stuff that anyone could want and bid on. Yeah. So... Um, did we mention the charities? I don't know if we even mentioned the charities. Let's mention the charities. Okay, so who are raising money for locally, again, is uh, a Free Geek, which provides technology to people who need it and training on that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Oregon Food Bank, mm -hmm. which obviously provides food, food, and Toys for Tots, which provides toys for, for less fortunate children. And we're accepting money for all those, but for Toys for Tots and for the Oregon Food Bank, we're also accepting donations of food. Um, non-perishable, of course, and unwrapped toys, yep. and those can be dropped off at the Green Dragon. Yep. So that's and that's it. And we're looking forward to seeing you. Please, by all means, participate and and hang out. It's going to be fun. I, I hope. Think. I hope so. Should be. If it's not fun, we're doing it wrong. If it's not, it'll be more fun for you as we break down and lose it. Doctor Normal's already losing it, quite He's, frankly. He didn't want. To, in case he didn't catch it from the <laughs> intro. He didn't really want us to show me in PDX this week. But we felt we had to. We, we you deserved it. You've been so good. You have up been. With our you know what though? Day if they're out. watching this, they might like to know we're going to be recording the next Mean PDX. Oh, you want to tune in for that one? At, at 5 a.m. I believe. 5 a.m. Yeah. It'll be it'll be great. Saturday morning, we're going to be recording Mean PDX. Don't worry. Live from 30 Hour Day. It'll be good. Do you have anything else? I don't really. We would love to see you there. You know, it's you, always you nice to see that. you. I know, but I like these guys. I do, too. Do they you think they up, might bring they me some? put up with me every week. Are they going to make me an omelet? Perhaps. Maybe. Donuts. I like people I who know. give me omelets and hash browns, especially if they caramelize the onions on top. Stop. Stop showing your love for Pete. <laughs> I can't help you it. Stop. <laughs> I can't help it. Pete's going to give me hash browns and an omelet. iterazi has got a really, really <sighs> cool auction item. Itarazi has one of the top three coolest auction items. It's very good. So yeah. I'm just saying. I agree. So, 
But I hear the bidding for that is steep That's it. already. Yeah. There's been some... Yeah, there have been lots of bids in that. All right. All right. We got to get some rest. All right. We have to go we gotta, now. We got to go. We, we have a lot of work to do. 30 hours and stuff. And you should rest too so you can stay up with us. Get a lot of Make a pot of coffee. Do they get anything if they stay up all 30 hours with us? Yes, they do. I have no idea what, but they get something. Our undying gratitude and, uh-huh. and, and, and affection. Yeah. An autographed uh, <gasps> photo. <laughs> I don't know. We could we could provide anyone who could verify of our, of our Aaron Hockley headshot. We of our to... we've got which we'll pick the the right one. Yeah. If you stay up all thirty hours and you can honestly, we'll have to take you know we'll just have to believe them. We'll take your word for it. We yeah. believe you. If you stay up all thirty hours, Rick and I will autograph one of our our Aaron Hockley photographed headshots for you. <laughs> now you're thinking about it, right? I know. You want one? That's okay. we'll no, understand. some of them are really. They're pretty good. They're interesting. Like, especially this one. <laughs> no. I don't like that one. Okay. Let's pick All a better go. one. We gotta All go right. rest. We need we'll some see you sleep tomorrow. because we have a lot of work Come to do tomorrow. Out. And Saturday, we'll see you then too. Go to beer and blog. Yep. 4 p.m. Take an unwrapped toy. Take some food. There will be a special reward for those of you that do. Yep. Good night, everybody. Good afternoon. See you at 30 hour day. We'll see you in a few weeks with some sanity and maybe some clarity. Who knows? Perhaps. Probably not. Really? Podcast has breathed new life into the Charity Telethon. A first of its kind web based telethon aims to broadcast for 30 hours straight to raise money for local charities and stimulate giving worldwide. Beginning December 18th at 4 p.m. Pacific, Podcaster will be taking the concept of the Charity Telethon and updating it for the web age with 30 hour day. Podcasters, DJs, comedy, tragedy, reggae, ska, Latin, a grand piano, and good old rock and roll. There's breakfast, bacon, videos, a variety show, and you. Interacting with the show through chat and Skype. Sounds like fun, right? The telethon and instructions for embedding the content will be available at 30hourday.org. Well, you may just be hearing me, but that's you, okay. You know what's really funny? I talk funny? over her all the time. What's really funny is that I thought it was like 6.30 and I was starting to panic about something. And then I realized, <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's 5.30. We're fine. We're 90 minutes into it. No, we're doing great. Yeah. Well, actually, we're like 88. Almost 90 minutes. But look at there. Let me see. $700. $700 already. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to all you. For donating that money, that's awesome. And again, it's on the um, Breezing Causes. You can either use it through Facebook or you can go to the the 30-hour day site and there's a Donate Now button there. So thank you so much to everyone who has has donated thus far and we're looking forward to seeing more tomorrow. You know what I'm sad about? What? I wanted one of those giant thermometers and a red pen so I could color in. Yeah. I don't have to. We'll have to do that next time. Maybe we can figure it out before morning. That you would think? make me happier. Right. I don't want to wait till next time. I'd like note to crew: do anything to make Cammy happy. <laughs> I'd like a giant white piece of paper <laughs> with a thermometer and dollar, that we could color dollar in amounts written on stuff. that I could color in and stuff. So when we For last left Studio A, when we last left Studio, oh, this is Studio A. Yeah. I'm very excited. This is Studio A. Wait till you see Studio B and Studio C. Studio B, Please. you can't see right now. Yeah, but there's a band getting set up over in Studio C right now. And you, you'll get to hear that and they see do. it. It'll be fantastic. Yeah. Um, we were, we we're, I think we're still working out trying to get Tara we on. We were. Okay. Um, so we will continue to kind of stall until we can get her on. But um, that will be our first international call. I wonder how much of an imposition it would be on the cameraman 
if we uh, decided to hang a couple ornaments. You want to hang some ornaments? I do. Okay. We Let's haven't do gone it. to hang yeah. them yet. All Watch right. out for the live flame over here. Be I'm careful just of warning the menorah. You, you at home, be careful as well. Watch okay. it. Just don't touch the. Stay away from the. What sh should we hang up the dead birds? I like the dead birds. Let's put some should dead we, birds uh, on the tree. Oh, Cammy should apparently lose her. Her microphone clip. You still got it? I've got it. I can okay. hold it until we can. I'm going to hang this dead bird. Can right, you hang fine. it? Or where should we put them? I don't know. Should we let them spot. be together? That's cute. I want to put them Here, over. somewhere low. Get, put it high. We'll just put it by Cardiff. All right, between fine. Cardiff and Portland. And I'll, put, I'll put a little one up here. Okay. He's looking up, as is everyone else. Whatever that means. I don't know, but that looks, he really looks dead. You're, that one, yeah, that one's not good. Uh, maybe I'll put him the other can one. You, yeah, can you make it nice? But, that, oh, yeah, okay. No. What? That's how the dead birds look on my tree at home. <laughs> Sorry, okay, watch out for the flame. We've Steer clear. Open flame. Fire code violation. Open flame. There. Not that when we cook breakfast here in the morning, it's not going to be a fire code. You know what's funny is what? that those lights... Yes. The lights are warmer than the flame. Than the flame, yes. That's quite I'm true. That's saying. why I'm now shining oh, again. You know what? Oh. I've just been told that we're going to go live to Tara. Oh, good. At her and housewarming party. We'll, I wonder if we'll actually be able to talk to her, if she's just going to be are talking gonna to us. Are we going to be able to talk to Tara, or is she just going to talk to us? Why don't you bring Okay, so we won't be talking to Tara. Phone. She'll be talking to us. We'll do that. Yeah, so pretty soon, any moment, Tara Hunt. Yep. Ah, there she oh, is. Oh, there's Tara. Hey. Hi. I have to like no, I hear myself three times. That's disconcerting. <laughs> Let me turn my volume down there. So, uh, well, I'm uh, calling in and you streaming in to the 30-hour uh, uh, day, which is a really long day, right? That's, that's, a, that's a long day. I mean, uh, mo mo most of us... Wow. Not yet. Yeah, I'm Are you getting out, a little really. tired? Rick is exhausted. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm going to get him some soda or something. Yeah, I need something. Yeah, well... But how, how are you doing? So many of us like wish for 30 hours in a day. I could probably take this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I spilled champagne already. Uh, so many of us wish for 30 hours in a day, but you know when it actually it's comes painful. to execution, it probably um, isn't ideal. Right? So there's obviously something really cool going on here with this 30-hour uh, day for us to actually. Um, <laughs> Make it come true. Yeah, we well, and you know, hopefully we can do something so that you don't have to. You can just sit and watch. Yeah, it's we don't want other yeah. people to have to have a 30-hour day. No, you go to sleep like you usually would. We're Please. gluttons for punishment, yeah, yeah. but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I'll probably, I mean, uh, judging from the amount of wine and beer that I bought earlier, I'll probably be falling into like a quarter of sleep in like five or Well, and that's what you're later. throwing a housewarming party tonight, right? <laughs> Yeah, so I already have uh, one guest has arrived. Everybody else is fashionably late. Hey, sure, David. yeah, that'd be awesome. You want to say hi? Hey, hey. Hi, David. David Good to see you. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I hadn't met David in person yet. And there's a couple of people coming tonight that I haven't met in person. I've just met uh, over, like, Twitter or uh, OkCupid. That's where I met uh, David. Um, and uh, Facebook and stuff like that. Cool. I haven't necessarily met them in person, but it should be interesting uh, to open my house to strangers. This is one of the beauties of uh, <laughs> the social media thingy that we're all part of, right? A lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I moved here uh, in, to Montreal in um, August. I think it was, and uh, yeah, after the first thing Good. I did was have a party. I had uh, the final Wofioki party. Oh, sorry. 
the first thing I did was have a party when I got here because it was the final Wofioki party, but there was no furniture here yet. So this is the first time I actually am inviting my Montreal friends to come by and see my place. Um, now since I've actually settled in cool. and I have furniture. And you just got back from the web, right? Yeah. Yeah, Paris. That was really cool. quite amazing. I love Paris. No. No, no not in a long, long time. Not when I was at an age that I could probably enjoy Paris. <laughs> yeah. Well, I highly recommend going to the web next year. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty decent conference. Like, it's interesting because there's new people that you wouldn't meet here uh, at the different tech conferences in North America. And you'll see kind of interesting uh, Montre uh, uh, Montreal, Montreal, that's where I'm at uh -huh. now, uh, European startups and hear a little bit more about the European sort of tech scene. Uh, all in the beautiful setting of uh, Paris, and uh, I hadn't really been on, other than, you know, I do a lot of traveling for speaking, and that's paid for, but I hadn't really been on a, let's take a trip for myself, so that's cool. why I use LeWeb as yeah. an experience. Maybe we'll do a 30-hour day Paris oh, for LeWeb next time. I think that's a very good idea. Something. I, I like it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> from Paris. Oh, yeah. that would be Stay amazing. up all night, do that thing, you yeah. know. Love that idea. But you know, did you see the stats? Uh, Mint.com. Hey, you made it. Uh, Mint.com. Natalie just showed up. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. um, so, uh, did you see the stats from Mint.com that actually uh, the Europeans, the French are better than most Europeans, but the Europeans yeah. aren't great charitable. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Americans win. Over everybody. Yeah, well. So, yeah, some interesting stats were posted, I think it was on Mint.com uh, the cool. other day, that Americans are the best charitable givers. So, those of you out there, uh, it's very easy. You go to 330hourday.org and donate there. And um, so, uh, now, now, you're letting people sort of... Uh, pick the causes. Yeah, so we're running it. We're running it through too? causes, and we are trying to um, raise money for three particular local okay charities. So Oregon Food Bank, Toys for Tots, okay, that's and uh, Free Geek. Which I don't know if you've ever okay. if you've ever visited Free Geek when you've been here, but it's an awesome nonprofit that does um, technology for less fortunate people and technology training. So they'll recycle and recondition computers um, and train people how to use them. So it's Oh, cool. Well, and that's, that's uh, really important. I think one of the topics that comes up over and over again when you know, we talk about this utopic world we're creating is that there's still such a uh, digital divide that is going on. So that's helping that, right? Okay. So we need to wrap it up? Yep. Okay. So it sounds like you've got a party to go to. You've got lots of beer and wine to drink. And uh, we we've don't got, get to we do don't. That to get to do that, but you go ahead for us, because we'd be you really, asleep you know, in like I, I don't know if you saw uh, Drew's blame but they had a lot of <laughs> alcohol there. It really helped get, get through the, I think they had a similar, uh, like, I think they only had 24 hours. They were yeah. well, Tara, thank you so much for yeah, joining us. It's great to see you. Thank you. Have a wonderful party. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, thank you, and, and good luck with everything. I'll make sure that I continue to tweet out support. Yeah, so that you can go party, you can go to bed, yeah, you can wake back up. We'll still, we'll still be, be here. Alive. You can just tune back on. Yes, back and you'll still be up. Yay. <laughs> well, that's perfect. I will keep it running, actually, as I sleep. All so. right, thank you so much, Tara. Yeah. We'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. That was Tara Hunt author of The Woofy Factor, which is actually, that's the hardback name. they changed. I'm closing like a million text messages. Somebody has a lot of direct a messages. A lot of text messages. They, they changed the name a little bit for the paperback. I can't quite remember, but um, really good Leave book. Would make a great Christmas <laughs> gift. You know, people it who would. like books, go get The, the Woofy Factor. Factor. Go get it. Good book. That's awesome. So I that's our first international one. That was our first international caller. We'll have I, some more later. I think we're going to go, I mean, I think we're going back to Beer and Blog, which is an international, but it's still fabulous. It's still awesome. So what are they doing now? Do they have know. a second bucket full of toys now? They could. They could. Let's I think see. that would be awesome. We'll check it out.
Oh, I thought we were, I saw the dissolve and I was like, oh yay, we're going what live to me. Oh, it's a different me. camera. We're going live to me from a different angle. I don't know. We're Hi. over there now. Hello. So. I thought Mikey was going to be a, uh, was going to be beer and blog. It wasn't. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> I don't understand. Soon. His, I don't understand his strange Australian hand signal. Yeah, the, we need a translator for the Australian <laughs> cameraman. What's the? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I, just I got that one. The, Thank you. Uh -huh, That's yeah. the international symbol I know for that something. One. I'm good with that mm. one. I get that one all the time. Whatever. That's so. my favorite. That's my yeah. favorite one. I know another one. I know. I know. I know. This one. That one? Yeah. Do you know that one? Don't. I'll teach you later. That's it's That's not, not nice. I'll tell him later. Later. So, so what are we doing? We're waiting. Oh, we're just waiting. We're stalling. This is us waiting. This is us. This is how we look when we're you know, waiting. You know, normally when we're waiting, we're not in front of the camera, and we yeah. We and usually, producer Mike people. is yelling at us. A lot of yelling. There's Bloody. a lot of yelling. Now cameraman Mike's yelling at us. Yeah. It's oh, apparently not TV. popular with the Mike demographic. I just wanted to say. So maybe we should work on getting producers that um don't have the name Mike. That could be, uh, did, did you change clothes? Well, after I talked to Tara? No, before that. Not, not all of them. Where'd you, where'd you get that? Their clothes and stuff. Bocci's. Yeah? Yeah, that's another one of our sponsors. And Bocce Boutique in Multnomah. All the cool stuff you see Cammy wearing throughout the night. Except was, my pajamas. Except the pajamas, which are, uh, Another designer that yeah. you want to... Well, Ann Bocci didn't design this. No, she just no. sells other designers. She just right. has a knack for picking the best designers. Yeah, yeah. She's got a really cool one of really the designers cool that shop. she keeps in the store is going to be on the um, the fashion show. Um, yeah, Project Runway. Project one, Runway. Yeah, going to be one Seth of the competitors. Be, uh, a competitor. Yep. She just found out. She was very excited. Yeah, it's awesome. very exciting. Yeah, and she was, I mean, she was extremely helpful and spent a lot of time with us... Getting, she didn't give me anything. No, nothing for Rick. All Whatever. for me. That's fine. Sorry, Rick. It's all for Cammy. That's cool. You could have known something. Like I'm not used to it. There were some things that would have looked lovely with your skin tone. Oh, I know. That one yellow number would have been great. Hey, that yellow number was pretty. It just yeah. kind of didn't go with my tattoos so well. Yeah. No, it's it's hard to dress a lady in tattoos. You're telling me. Yeah. Well, well we did say we would discuss this. Yeah, we, we did. did. We did. We did. We did. We did. I just say thought we might save that. it for like five o'clock in the morning. No, wait. Maybe we should. We'll, it's just a teaser. Okay, so later. We'll get into it more later. Later, we will discuss the day that Rick and I had to spend going clothing, clothing trying oning, and wallet looking at him. It was great. No, seriously. It there was, was something fun. over there that caught my attention. It was fun. I'm still except, paying attention to you. Except that we just forgot. Well, around. we didn't forget. We just. It was so full of wind and awesome that we didn't have time to eat lunch. We did forget that. It was yeah. a lot of running. And then later, I drank a big giant mocha. Got jittery, a little jittery. I got a little, little. She got a lot of stuff done though, like tons oh of stuff. Oh boy, I sure did. And I walked like three miles. Yeah, you did. That was a great. Yeah. I do that though. I like to walk. Me too. You're not much of a walker. What? Do you walk a lot? Do I look like I walk a lot? I'm just saying. We, uh, I don't like it when you do the thing with the chin. I uh, right, don't. You don't do get it. so mad. That's two hits <laughs> so far. Two. You do it Thank on you. I did. You know what? I actually I did that on purpose so that people would still have still counts. It was, for you at home. You were beer and blog. Well, I thought it was painful still for counts. them. I thought they were like, God, this is painful. Would you just hit him and get it over with so I can have a drink? I bet a lot of people think that. You know what though? I think you forgot about the other rule, which was anytime I changed my clothing. That's another one. So that was a double one. Double whammy. Go. Are we on hour two? We need another letter. We're almost hour three. Okay, we need a letter, quick. Oh, a letter. B? B. Yes. So All right. I'm not going to tell you what the first hour is because if you weren't oh, there, you can't recap, win. And that's no! Bad. I'm not. Shh, Cammy. It's one letter an hour. B. And if you can spell the whole word. We're on the letter B. I know what word I want to do. Okay. That's okay, good, because we don't know what we're spelling yet. I have it yet. picked out. I have it picked out. I'm ready. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, I don't want to know. But I get to do the next hour. You should letter. probably <laughs> tell me before I give them the next letter. This hour brought to you by the letter, letter B. 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 Right. For beach ball. Boys. Boys. I like those. Yeah. BMW. BMW. Who we'll hopefully, we'll be going back to. Hopefully, we're going to be going back to at some, some time. Point. I don't know. 
I, I got angry there for a second. It's okay. Um, uh, I can't use that word. I can't use that word. <laughs> can't use that word. Keep it clean. I can't. No. Oh, Bobby. I Bobby. can't use that word. Be Bobby is Bobby. a B word. Hi. Sorry. That was a little loud and enthusiastic. I understand. It's all kinds I'm of random scary stuff. When I, it's like I was using all caps and an exclamation. Yes, point. you were. But I saw him and I was like, God, and that maybe starts. A one Brom or something. also starts. Brom is a B word. There are all kinds of B words in We've here right now. We've got B words coming out of our ears. Oh, boy. What could we be smelling B. in 30 hours? No telling. B. Stay tuned. Bert. Bert. Long remote? Oh. Oh, we're going to a remote. We with got Brian? a remote. Another B. Is it with or Brian? BMW. I'm not Something. getting any feedback here, the, people. The producer likes to yell to random stuff at us and then run over. away. He like, walks up right away. Right 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 and then he's gone. I don't know. Kind of like the start away. of the uh, Mean PDX you watched. Like, it's exactly the same. Yeah. I don't know. Would you mind if I just hung out on Twitter for a while? You just I'm waiting got for the long remote. I've got some special guests I'd like to go say hello to. Yeah, I know. And, well, and people are starting to roll in. I know. Some of the Portland podcast all-stars are already I here. I know. It's yeah. being I'm very just saying. being. Be. Being starts the letter B as well. Boulder. Boulder. Boulder, Boulder Colorado. Boulder, Colorado, home of tech stars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just opened a tech stars in Seattle. Did you hear about that? Yes. Good. You did not. <laughs> That'll later. be on Mean PDX at 5 a.m. Exactly. Come Save watch. Um, Bumble. Bumble. Bumble's bounce. Bernays. Bounce is another. Bounce. Bernays, I like. Bob. B. So. That's Bob we're over there. Brought to you by the letter Bobby. letter B. B. B for this hour. B. What was the first hour? Can't oh, tell you. Can't tell you because you weren't here. So if you weren't here, then you don't qualify for staying up and watching all 30 hours. That's I have to say, though, works. that by the time it's over, it's not fair. we'll have been awake for at least 40-something hours. Cause yeah, because we got up way early this morning. We're just, we're, ugh. oh, we're ready to go. We're ready to go to our remote. Oh, we are? Okay. Because Adam Duvander was just wondering if I checked DMs on, on the air. And by, by yes, the fact Adam, that he, he just does. DM'd me, I guess he I He does check do. DMs. I, however, have not thought to bring my, my laptop over. <laughs> I think I will for the next segment. All right. That's good. Yeah, so we're ready. So let's go. Let's go let's to go our on, remote. Let's head on over. Back to Let's see what's going on. Guys. And see. we're back with the Portland Green Dragon. Thank you for joining us again. We're back at the Portland Green Dragon for Beer and Blog. It happens every Friday afternoon. We're raising money for Toys for Tots. We're also taking toy donations. Our toy bin is full, but don't worry if you come on down to the Green Dragon. Karaoke starts at 6 o'clock, and if you do bring a toy, I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you, you bring a toy, you can get a coupon. The coupon may be good for a free beer. It may be good for money off. And, you know, Cammy and Rick, you were talking about donated clothing for the, the, the this fundraiser, this, or, this telethon, and... I didn't get a damn thing either. I got nothing. I had to buy these clothes myself, and I understand Fat Boy Roberts has a very similar outfit, so we'll have to compare the two of us later on. And there are a lot of people here at the Green Dragon hanging out and having a really good time. We want to make sure to thank Seaport Air, thank the Green Dragon. We've got model calendars. The naked model calendars are on sale here. Come on down. We're here till 6 o'clock, and thank you so much for joining us at 30hourday.org. I'm going to send it back to you guys. I'll see you guys just a bit from another secret location on remote for 30 Hour Day. The internet is like this new human experience. Here, she's going to put an ornament on the tree. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good. It's okay. Did you pick something to put on the tree? Find something to put on there? What do you think? Ooh. That nice. is a nice choice, Good. dude. All right. Excellent. Oh, Kay has chosen a tiny snowman. Here we go. Where are we going to put it? The eventual... Oop, we lost it. Oh, where is it? Are we? Yeah. Okay. Come. okay. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, careful with, careful, the, the careful with the flames, please. She's counting. How many are there? They're almost done. Okay. Nice. So Thanks, Kay. Kay. Thanks for helping go, decorate the tree. We'll find Nan and Papa. Thanks Thank for picking you so it. much. Kay helped pick out that tree, yeah. actually. And we she might... She was part of a three-part mastermind crew. We might run some footage of that later. Yeah. I Maybe. Think, 
Maybe. Uh, it could knows? happen. I, it's possible. We got plenty of time. We'll get to it. We've got, we got 30 hours. I don't just know barely what I'm, here. We just barely started. I don't know what I'm worried about. Some Why are you guys stressing me out so much with the so difficulties? You know, we're broadcasting on the web. Lexi, will you come talk to me for a second? Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie. If you've ever been to Green Dragon, you know Lexi. I just hijacked her. She has no idea what's going on. We're broadcasting live at the Green Dragon. And Lexi, how long have you been at the Green Dragon? Just over a year. Just over a year. And what do you think of Friday afternoon?